let's talk about acid radical and basic radical now uh, i want to start with acid radical uh, before starting acid radical let's talk about some of the acid we have to understand this first hcl this is the formula of hydrochloric acid and this s2 so4 this is the formula of sulfuric acid in the same way as no3 formula of nitric acid these are the mineral acids which we use in laboratory frequently now look at this this hydrogen is the identification of acid because acid is a compound which gives hydrogen ion in aqueous solution like this when it dissolves in water then what happens it gives hydrogen ion and another one is chloride ion and this gives hydrogen ion all the acid gives hydrogen ion this is the identification of what acid now what is our concern we are talking about acid radical look at these radicals this chloride sulfate nitrate these radicals are actually combined with hydrogen to form acid since these combine with hydrogen to form acid that's why these are called acid radicals these are acid radicals now this way we can identify acid radicals and how can we define this acid radical we can define this way a radical came from a b a radical came from an acid a radical came from an acid in the molecule of salt in the molecule of salt a molecule of salt is called acid radical now this definition says uh, about salt also what it mean we uh, actually this acid radical is defined in terms of salt now let's say this potassium chloride is a salt and this in this potassium chloride this chlorine comes from acid and that's why this chlorine of potassium is called acidic salt just like this when it ionizes then what happens this way we can ionize this into two different ions potassium ion and chloride ion so this radical came from hydrochloric acid look at this and that's why it is acidic radical we can give this example in potassium chloride chlorine radical comes from uh, hydrochloric acid that's why it is acidic radical or acid radical okay now let's talk about basic radical now before entering into basic radical we have to uh, take some example of base sodium hydroxide is a base in the same way potassium hydroxide is another base calcium hydroxide is another base these are the bases and when they ionize then sodium ion and hydroxide ion forms look at this and this we this also forms potassium ion and hydroxide ion and this forms calcium ion and hydroxide ion this hydroxide is the identification of base like here hydrogen is the identification of acid in the same way base gives hydroxide ion in the aqueous solution they are called alkali also and since these metals when combines with hydroxide then this metal gives uh, the base forms this base when they combine with hydroxide that's why these are called basic radical 
That's why these are acidic radical which combines with hydrogen to form acid. These are basic radical which combines with hydrogen to form a base. That's why basic radical can be uh, defined like this. A radical A radical uh, came from base. A radical came from base in the molecule of molecule of salt. In the molecule of salt, uh, a radical came from base. In the molecule of salt is called basic radical. Here, yeah. basic radical is also defined in terms of salt. That's why we can take one example of salt. Uh, the, the previous example we can repeat. Potassium chloride is a salt. In uh, it ionizes into potassium ion and chloride ion when dissolved in water, and this metal, the ray, this is called actually uh, basic so basic radical because uh, it came from base like potassium hydroxide. This way, potassium uh, radical, calcium radical, sodium radical, etc. are called uh, basic radical or this is also called um, metallic radical also and they uh, they uh, came from uh, base that's why basic radical and uh, they, this is the definition of basic radical okay this was for today